welcome to, to this episode of Half Rule Scientific Spirituality. My name is Three Mensifi West. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about a very powerful and effective spell that we use to return evil or to destroy evil spells against us. And uh, this spell, once again, is uh, something you can do with items from your kitchen. These are simply the use of rice and sea salt, just two items, and a uh, combination with a uh, bint El Sudan and fire. So uh, I want to talk about this remedy today because uh, it's something that uh, is very effective and many people don't know that you can use rice for doing spells. You should know that uh, we use rice for prosperity spell, we use rice for ceremonial rice of, uh, of wealth and uh, to all shine good things to come to life. Today we are going to be using rice to return evil. So uh, this spell, anybody can do it from any part of the world. That's why I'm talking about it. For you to do this spell, what you need is uh, seven seeds of rice. It can be any kind of rice. It can be your regular white rice, jasmine rice, or Thai rice, but it should just be rice that uh, we eat every day. Get seven seeds of rice. Then uh, you are going to get seven seeds of sea salt by sea salt you know that sea salt is different from your regular table salt sea salt is natural salt that is gotten from the bed of the sea so actually it's the best kind of salt to actually eat if you really want to uh, go 100 percent natural sea salt is what you should be using to cook not the other iodized salt that comes out from the factory so sea salt is uh, much more powerful than your regular table salt okay so sea salt is good we use it for a lot of spiritual work because it's a natural salt have more potency than your regular table salt so you're going to get sea salt from the sea make sure it's sea salt not the rock salt there's the difference between rock salt and sea salt okay get sea salt it's much more expensive but when you see it you will know it there are different colors so you're gonna get seven of the tiny stone of that sea salt. You get your seven rice seed. Then for this spell, you need to do it first thing in the morning. It needs to be the first word that will come out from your mouth if you want to do this in the early morning. Maybe you don't have time in the night or you don't have, cannot wake up in the night time. You want to do this spell, let it be the first thing that you speak out of your mouth in the morning, okay? If you cannot do this early morning, you have to wake up in the night around 2 or 3 o'clock in the night time where nobody is going to disturb you then. You will do this spell. So you can do it early morning or late night. This is too time you can do this to make it work. So you get your seven seeds of rice and your seven seeds of sea salt. Then you're going to get your Bint Hell Sudan perfume. Yes. By now you should know that that is our number one spiritual perfume on this channel Bint El Sudan or Six Flower This is what we use mostly in African spirituality You can call it our own olive oil Christianity have olive oil We have Bint El Sudan and uh, Six Flower And lots more oil and regular palm oil in African spirituality So for this very right, you're going to get your Bint El Sudan or Six Flower of them any of them can work. So you get your regular African spiritual oil. Then you put the seven seeds of this rice in your hand. Put the seven seeds of sea salt. Or you, you put like three drops of Pinta Sudan. You mix them together. You mix very well. Then you speak into it. You speak. You can call the name of any deity you are calling. You can call your higher self. Can call the universe and then you're going to say that uh, in the name of so 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 and so i break every yoke or any power that is trying to fight against me 
I destroy every plan of the enemy against my life. If there is any particular situation that is giving you challenge, maybe you want to change a particular situation, something is happening, you want to change, or you want to try to see if you can, you want to push your will into the universe to make your will prevail in this very matter. You speak into it in the name of so so and so. Anything concerning this issue, I break it, I change it, and I call upon the forces of the universe, the element of eternity and above and below to come to aid me to make uh, sure that this goes this way and uh, favor, love, prosperity or anything comes my way. You speak into this mixture. Then after you are speaking to this mixture, you call your name. You say, I, if a wife, remove myself from any plans or any trap of the enemy against my life. I remove myself, I remove my family, I remove my children, I remove my business, I remove my car. The particular thing you are addressing, you have to address it. You have to call your name, state your name, they're speaking to it. In the name of Olokun, in the name of Santis Mamoriete, in the name of Okun, I remove myself from whatever is happening. I remove myself from this situation, I remove myself from the plans of the enemy. You just speak and just speak your mind into this thing. Okay, when you, after you speak your mind into it, then uh, you going to light a fire. Can be fire from your gas stove, or can be fire from a candle, from your shrine. But light the fire and burn this rock salt and the rice. Burn them inside this fire. It has to be burnt, and this thing will go into the universe. Okay. So that is the spell for you. It's a very simple spell and a very powerful spell. After you are speaking to the rock salt, into the rice with the bean to Sudan or six flour, you burn it. Make sure that you burn this very thing. It needs to burn to ashes and the smoke needs to ascend into the universe to carry your petition into the universe. Then you start your day or you go back to sleep. Then uh, you forget about the situation. Okay, so this is how they do it. Very simple spell. Once again, you have rice. Every house have rice, and uh, I believe every shop have sea salt. Then for the bean Sudan, you can get it online to buy. If you don't know where to get it, I sell it. You can order it from me. I think I have some stock. I have people that will send it to you from Nigeria. So this is another powerful spell. How to? Break evil spell with rice, sea salt, and beans in Sudan once again. Okay, so uh, this is what I have for you today. Questions or comments are welcome. Like and share this video. If you are interested in learning more about African spirituality, you can register at my website www.kindoki.net. And uh, if you want to know about the scientific validity of African spirituality, the scientific evidence of African spirituality. I have been able to write a book on quantum physics and African spirituality. You can buy my book and uh, you're going to see a lot of scientific reference dating back thousands of years up to the origin of quantum physics and uh, you will be able to understand the origin of this thing we are practicing called African spirituality. So uh, that being said, uh, I wish you a wonderful day and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye. Peace.